Okay, I think we are ready to uh, to show uh, how I have done the uh, setup uh, of the system in uh, Mark III. Uh, and I will do that uh, both on the machine uh, and uh, and on the screen. So just real quick to see how uh, it works uh, in practical. The machine is moving as it should. So very nicely. So all of that works, um, and uh, you have the soft limits, uh, the limit switches around, uh, and uh, if you hit the uh, ref all. And you can see here we have the coordinates to be zero, uh, both for machine and uh, the work. So everything is now zero and we can move it around again. In order to get to this point I have spent a little time on the config. Um, and of course first you select your native units, uh, which uh, I have set to millimeters. Then you have the ports and pin. I use the parallel port, so enable that. The kernel speed, keep the 25,000 hertz. Motor output, I use all four axes. And uh, the pins that I have signed to, uh, to, to control it. On the uh, input signals, I have enabled uh, the, all the X's. So uh, I have uh, one uh, X uh, on this side and one X on the other side. And uh, they both go to pin number 11. Uh, so uh, that's, it's, this is how it's set up here. And if you look on Y, same story. On the Z axis, I only have uh, the, uh, the, the stop at the bottom here that will basically be stopping it when it goes all the way up uh, and that's the same one as the home. So uh, these are the inputs and of course uh, we have probe uh, which I in this system have mounted on the uh, e-stop and I will add some cords so I can move it around and this is also made so I can move it around uh, so it's close to where I'm actually uh, will be working. So probe and e-stop is enabled and that's it for the inputs. On the output side, fairly simple. I have enabled output 1 on pin 17, as you can see here, and that's all. And I use that output uh, to control the spindle uh, here. Output 1 here is a spindle. So this basically controls a relay that uh, powers on and off the uh, spindle. If I just... Oh, and now I have uh, turned on the uh, spindle here, but as you can see it didn't start. And of course that's because um, it's not uh, set yet. Uh, I've not powered it on. If I go to diagnostics, uh, I can say drop spindle. And you can put it on and off. So that was the ports and pins. Motor tuning. I've worked a little on that. Uh, used some of the programs in uh, you can find on the internet. To calculate, I'm using uh, one eighth uh, micro stepping, um, and I have uh, the belt are uh, GT2 three millimeters, so the heavier one. Uh, I use a pulley with 22 teeth, and all of those information you can put into some of those programs you can find, and then that gives you the step per millimeter. And then I have been playing around a little time uh, to find a fair velocity. That gives me some speed and acceleration that gives me some acceleration but also uh, keeps uh, the machine uh, noise free or at least low in noise and it doesn't seem to uh, skip a lot of uh. so this is the data for x for y uh, uh, it uh, was able to run a little fast i don't know if these motors are better than this one or it's because there's two, I don't know, but I could actually kick it up to a higher speed 
steps per millimeter is the same and the acceleration. And since I'm using an Acme uh, uh, rod on the Z axis, the steps per millimeter looks, of course, uh, significantly different and also velocity and acceleration. And then if you go to A, I've simply repeated what's on the Y axis because they are, of course, following each other. So that was all for motor conf uh, tuning. General config, I'll just point out some piece that I actually had a hard time finding, and this is this one. I'm running A and Y together, so A is a slave of Y. And in order to make that work with the homing, then you need to check this uh, mark here. Otherwise, it will kind of do something like this because uh, this one will then not be working when homing and this over here would be home and that uh, of course creates a, a big problem. It took me a while until I found that uh, little check mark there. But as soon as it's done, it actually works really well. So that was general config. Uh, then homing and limits. Uh, I have uh, checked two of the axes to reverse and one is because I want this one to go to the left when I hit the left key and hit right when I go hit the right key so X I did reverse for that reason and A of course uh, if this motor over here is running this way this of course has to run the other way in order to uh, be able to move in the same direction so that's why A has to be the opposite of what Y is and then uh, in order for home to get in this end here, uh, again, and to this side here, I had to uh, reverse the home direction for X and Y and A, and for Z uh, it worked out as here. And then I have put in some soft uh, uh, max and mean, uh, and since the, the width of the machine is approximately 120 centimeter, uh, I have used 1200 millimeters here and 1500 millimeters uh, long on the Y and the C axis can travel 20 centimeters so I have used that and here you can see uh, the, the, the max is zero and then it goes down to minus 20 centimeters and then I have repeated that for A I'm actually not sure whether this is necessary or not uh, I tend to believe that this is not necessary to write that but I have not experimented with it so then of course the uh, last thing which was not the last thing i did but one of the first thing i did was to say that uh, a needs to slave on y axis and it comes up with this message that you need to restart uh, of course it's not necessary now as i have done it uh, previously so that's basically what i have done in the config uh, part and uh, as you could see, it was possible to uh, make the uh, ref all home, all the uh, work coordinates and machine coordinates went to zero. I have high, I have activated the soft limits. So, so in principle, if I hit the uh, left button, then the X should go to the left, and I should get a soft limit, uh, and I did, uh, and then I can move it off again. Uh, so that's a nice feature, uh, you basically get uh, it uh, kind of as if you had a virtual bumper around the machine. Um, there's a few other things I may want to point out. This is uh, auto limit override. I have activated that one and what it does is basically if you hit the limit switch for whatever reason uh, and it activates. Then in order to move the machine away, uh, you have to override the limit switch because otherwise you cannot reset. So essentially uh, with this one, as soon as you hit the limit switch, it overrides the limit switch. You can, set, you can click reset and then you can actually move. But of course you have to be very cautious that you move it in the right direction because overriding also means that the limit switch is out of function for that while. So if you move the gain switch to this, you hit the limit, then uh, override and then you move further, you actually bump into the brackets. So of course you have to be sure that you actually move it in the other direction.
Yeah, I think that's uh, all what I have done uh, for setting up uh, everything to be working uh, nicely.